This video is your at-home blowout. So how to get a salon blowout at home. So this is my natural texture. It's wavy, beachy, I love it, but uh, it's time to go a little bit sleek. So I'm spritzing my hair with water and you obviously don't have to do that. I just let my hair dry a little bit too long after the shower, so I'm just spritzing it with water. You wanna get it nice and damp, obviously, so I'm brushing it back and I'm drying it. You wanna generally, we go for 80% dry before we start blow drying the hair. Now I'm putting in a detangler. This is from Dry Bar. Detangler UV spray or UV protectant all in one. This is the Kerastas Initialist serum that I got from my salon. And I really like it because it's not a heavy serum. And I've read some really, really great reviews about it. So I use that on my ends as a protectant. This is mousse. Mousse is excellent if you have fine hair or if you want volume. And I definitely want volume. I want my hairstyle to last an entire week if I could push it for a week. So you wanna push the mousse into the scalp. Now I'm brushing my hair back so I can find my parting. And what you do is you slick it back and then you push it forward just as you saw, and then you section out the hair of the part. So if your hair parts in the middle, you want to section out the middle rectangle. And then we're gonna get to that at the end. A lot of times in the salon, this is the area that we start with and then we pin it. I don't wanna do that. I don't feel like it makes a massive difference in for my hair. But if that's what you like to do, I want you to start with blow drying your hair first there. So what I do is I section off the nape of the neck and I wanna take a small section because I find that the hair in the back of our heads at the nape of the neck is usually the thickest. So I have two brushes here. Between the medium and the larger brush, I wanna go with the larger brush because the larger the brush, the straighter the hair. So if your hair is, you want more of a rounded end, you wanna go with the smaller brush. So I wanna start in the back of the neck um, and, and, and it's really important to, to really focus on this part because first of all you want to get your roots and I didn't fast forward this video on purpose because I want you guys to see in real time how I blow dry my hair. It takes me about 10 minutes and basically what you want to do is you want to get the roots and you're working the product. Think about what the product that we put in the hair, we want to work it into the hair. So this brush basically grabs the hair. You want to get a brush that grabs your hair as you're blow drying it because it makes life a lot more easy. And if you're going to get a cheaper brush, it might not do that. This is a ceramic brush and what that does is uh, it helps dry the hair a lot faster than if you're using a boar bristle brush or a natural bristle brush. With natural bristle brushes, generally Generally, um, they are great for smoothing the hair, but I really like the ceramic. So once I finish the nape of the neck, I section off another section and it's horizontal. So I go from temple to temple and I have really fine hair. I don't have a lot of hair. I'm sectioning off here just on top of the ears. So that's gonna be separate from the rest of the hair. I'm starting in the back and I wanna give myself maximum volume. Basically just getting the roots at this point. I just wanna get the roots nice and dry and I wanna get them up. I want to move the roots up because what happens then is I get the maximum amount of volume so if it's not completely um, vertical that's totally okay that's totally fine the whole point is that I want volume I don't want to blow dry my hair down because my hair is fine I'm trying to get maximum volume I want to grab all that hair and I want to make sure it's completely dry and I'm not really worried about the ends at this point I just want to get the roots because I use all that mousse I want to blow dry the mousse into the hair that's what's gonna make my hairstyle stay for as long as possible and that's what's going to give me the best volume. So I split my hair down the middle and I'm blow drying everything forward. We do this at the salon as well when we're blow drying clients just to actually makes life a little bit easier and it makes sectioning a little bit more easy. And at this point I can see which parts are dry and which are not. Now the front pieces around my temples, I'm blow drying downwards because I like the way that looks. Uh, you don't have to do that. That's just a personal preference. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm grabbing a lot of the hair. There's always going to be one side that's that's going to be easier for you than the other one. For me personally, it's my left side. So when I come over to the other side, it's a little bit more challenging just because I, my hands feel a little bit funky. But in any case, I'm still able to blow dry my hair fine. 
Now I'm checking that everything's absolutely dry. Like I said, the back of our heads is really thick, so you wanna make sure everything is dry before you go forward. The crown of your hair is the most important part. I'm brushing it out, I'm sectioning it, I wanna make sure I get this perfect. So with this medium brush, this is gonna give me great volume because the size is perfect. I'm rolling the brush in my fingers, I'm pressing the brush into the roots so that I can get all of that mousse that I used. And I know there's a little bit of flare here, Trust me, with a little bit of practice, you can do the same thing when you use the nozzle and rolling the brush in your fingers. Once you get a hang of it, it's really, really easy. I let it sit for just a second to cool off the brush and I take it down slowly. Again, this is all about cooling the hair. When you cool the hair, the hair comes out shinier and it holds the style a lot better than if you don't cool the hair. So you don't get a lot of flyaways and frizzies. So around the temples, I'm doing the same thing. I'm brushing the hair up but then down. And as you can see, you can start to see the layers right there. It's beautiful. Now I'm blending some of the other pieces back. So I don't really section very clean. I don't really care if I'm taking it vertical or whatever. It really doesn't matter to me as long as all of the hair is blended together. When you go back and you're polishing off your hairstyle, I like to just blend the hair and you do that by blow drying it and see how fluffy it looks and how um, there's no lines, you know, there's no demarcation lines from the blow dry. You don't have to have clean sections. This is the most important part. This is the money piece. This is the part that we sectioned off in the beginning. I'm brushing it out. I want to give it a lot of TLC. I'm doing basically the same thing, rolling the brush in my fingers and giving it high heat to work the mousse into the hair. And then I did that little flare thing with the nozzle again. You don't have to do that. It's just, it's if you can, that's great. It's really makes life a lot easier. You're blow drying it upwards. I'm blow drying it from all different sides because I want to, like I said, it, it just gives a little bit better movement to the hair than having it like so structured in that rectangle. I don't want it to have a rectangle. I want it to blend all of the layers with the rest of the hair. And you're going on high heat, rolling the brush, giving it tons of volume. Want to make sure it is absolutely dry. There is absolutely no dampness. And then you let the brush sit for, I mean, about 10 seconds. You can always check the brush for when it cools off. Off, that's what's going to keep your style. When you cool off the hair, it really makes the hair shiny and it sets your style. You shake out the hair and then you split it and see where it wants to fall. I love the way my layers are looking. It's looking shiny, healthy, sleek. And I really have to say that initially the Kerastase really made a difference with my hair. I've never used it in uh, blow dries, but this was my first time using it after, uh, during a blow dry. And I love the way my hair, my ends feel. So here I noticed that my hair was going a little bit too forward. I think I blow dried it a little bit too forward. So what I'm doing is I'm blow drying the hair back and holding the brush on top of it to hold the style. And I'm using low heat, not high heat. You don't need high heat for this because your hair is already dry. It's already been styled. Just polishing off the ends, rolling the brush, giving myself a bit of a flare in the front. You really have complete control over what you want your hair to look like. So I zoomed out so you guys can see the ends of my hair. I went back in with low heat again, just to uh, smooth out the ends. This is really, really fun once you realize how nice your hair is starting to look it's great i'm going in the crown because i want to have i feel like i didn't have enough volume at the crown so i'm going back in roll the brush let it sit for a few seconds and then you roll the brush out and you shake out the hair and you see it looks great you've got that volume the layers are looking great it's nice and shiny super happy with the way my hair is looking i can't really say anything bad about this blow it obviously because i did it i hope this video helped you guys please leave any comments below let me know if you have any suggestions or any questions love to hear your feedback have a great day all right guys bye